Already the Lynx took game one and tonight they are looking for a sweep. We have a live team coverage from all the action. Bab Santos is standing by with fans hopes. But first, Ahmad Hicks has an update on the game. Yeah, a close game. Randy and Kelsey right now at last check. They Well, actually, the Lynx just tied it up at 25 apiece. A little bit of a slow start to this game, but a lot of time left. You hear Wendell Epps talking over me right now. The excitement is building inside Target Center as they try and wrap up this series and avoid taking a trip back to Phoenix for a winner-take-all winner, do, uh, winner, winner game uh, against the Mercury and this best-of-three series. So an exciting night. We talked to Carly Knox earlier, the president of basketball operations with the Minnesota Lynx, and she told me they only had about 70 tickets available before this game, so she said that excitement is building around this team, and she hopes that they wrap it up tonight so they can start preparing for the Connecticut Sun that just took down the Indiana Fever just a couple of minutes ago. Now, for the excitement from the fans surrounding this game and this atmosphere, let's toss it over to our Bab Santos, who's live in the concourse. Now, this game started less than a half hour ago, and really, even before it started, fans were ready to make some noise, try to blow the roof off of this building here at the Target Center. And you can really just feel the energy in this building because the Lynx have a chance to do something special, to win this series at home tonight, a win that would advance them to the conference semifinals against Connecticut. Right now, the Lynx are down two points here in the second quarter. The score is 27-25. Phoenix ahead and the Lynx have been playing from behind for most of the first quarter so yeah fans have been on the edge of their seats so far on their way into the Target Center as well they told us they've been waiting anxiously for this game all week they do not want to see Phoenix force an elimination game on the road and they believe Minnesota has the pieces it needs to stop that from happening. Minnesota matches up really well against Phoenix because they can move well. The best matchup is uh, Fee, Nafisa Collier, um, because she just got a, a bad match on Sophie Cunningham. We match up against Phoenix pretty well. Yeah, we have a lot of, because we have a lot of shooters and they can't guard everybody. And there is really something to be said about this fan base. These are not bandwagon fans. They're not fair weather fans. These are diehard fans. These are rain or shine. These fans will be here. And tonight they are really just hoping that the Lynx give them something to cheer on and celebrate here at the Target Center. Reporting live, Bab Santos, Fox Night. All right. Well, we are anxiously awaiting the outcome of this game as it gets underway.